Rolling. Okay, so Simon, this one, we're, we're now moving on to the most advanced training system that we do on our syllabus, and it is a negative reps. Now, in order to do this, first of all, we've got to have trained a client on forced reps. We've got to have trained a client on eccentrics, where the weight is quite heavy. And now on a negative, this is a weight that you couldn't even lift in the first place for one rep. I can actually see the bar bending, it's, it's quite heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's that heavy. Now, the strange thing here is, we know that your one rep max is about 67 kilos on bench press. Now, I put it up to 120% of your one rep max, and I put it just beyond there, about 122%, at 83 kilos. Okay. So now, you're going to need a spot from me on the way up and the way down. Now, anybody can deliver this training system as long as we're good at spotting. The reason being, I'm not pulling and pushing there at 83 kilos, you're taking at least 67, maybe even 68, 69 kilos of that weight. Yeah. I am just spotting about 10 kilos of it. Yeah. We're going to work at three seconds up, three seconds down for eight repetitions. Now, the reason we're doing it on eight reps is, okay, we know it could bring about a bit of hypertrophy, but it also could be developing a massive amount of strength, certainly between reps one to six. So we're just making sure that you definitely fatigue the muscle group. Okay. Any questions about the exercise? No, perfectly fine. Okay, we'll get you into position. The communication between the two of us needs to be absolutely spot on. Eyes way below that bar so that we've got the distance. You set your hands up into your power position. If you need anything, move let me know. That's fine where we are. Okay, so we're going three seconds up, three seconds down. We're going to start from the up. And one complete rep will be down and up. Okay. Three, two, one. Have you got that bar, Simon? My bar. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Slower on the up. Three, two, one, three, two, and one. Well done. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Two more. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Fantastic. Last one. Three, two, one, three, two, and one. Hands on that bar. We wreck your bar. Fantastic. Well done. So. Clearly it is an advanced system and you can see a lot of stabilisation working hard there to hold you in position. Absolutely. How did you feel with the communication? Communication was very, very good. So I knew what I was doing. I was obviously pressed out too quickly on the first rep. We quickly adjusted that. That's a common, it happens a lot. Honestly, it's nothing to worry about. It happens quite a lot. If we, uh, on this exercise, because we're lifting so heavy, it's not unusual to become a little bit short on the range of movement. Yeah. So if we were to do another set, I might say, it's me being pernickety, drop the bar down a touch, touch, touch lower. But what we need to remember is, safety is paramount, yeah. and we're lifting at 120% of a weight that you can lift for one rep. It is by far the most advanced training system that we have in our syllabus, and the ones that we teach. It feels very effective when we feel the chest that's worked already. Okay. Uh, any questions about the system? No, it's fine. I just want to add on here, this system, I might do as like a one-off system. I'm not going to have five or six sets of this, just like I wouldn't for eccentrics. And even force reps, it might be just an add-on that we do in the final set, like you said, to make sure you feel that fatigue. Absolutely. Excellent. Thanks very much. No problem.